Hello everyone, welcome to this class. Today we are going to have another class on demonstrative and interrogative adjectives. In our previous classes we discussed what is adjective. In our previous classes we discussed quality adjectives and quantity of adjectives. And today this topic is also very important demonstrative and interrogative adjectives. So we will discuss today what is demonstrative and what is interrogative adjectives okay so sometimes we uh, use this and that these and those okay so these and those that and those those uh, these uh, kinds of words are used as demonstrative adjectives okay we use these and these to show to the nearest things. Here I have written these and these used for things that are near. Okay, that are near, very much near to us. We can touch, we can if we wish to touch them. So to show these kind of things, we use these and these. Okay, and another one is that and those used for things that are farther away. Okay, that are far from us. Eh? We cannot touch even if we wish to touch them. Okay, so to focus those things, we use that and those. And obviously, you have to remember when to use that and when to use this and when to use these, when to use those. Okay, so there are two kinds of nouns. One is singular, another one is plural. Okay, so simply we can see this is used for singular nouns and that is also used for singular noun. But when we use these and those, these is used for plural noun and those also used for plural nouns. So I hope demonstrative adjectives are clear to you all. So these, those, these, that, these words are used as demonstrative adjectives. And now look at interrogative adjectives. What are interrogative adjectives? What is interrogative actually we know? So to ask question, the words we use are called what? Interrogative words. WH words you know. What, which, eh? whose, why, eh? where, which, those words are called what? Interrogative adjectives. We can use those also as interrogative adjectives. So I have given here some uh, interrogative adjectives are used with nouns to ask questions. What and which. Okay. So we use these words to ask question. Okay. So when we will go for some examples directly, then these things will be more clear to you all. So let us go to the examples directly. Desh, hey, here blank. Girl over, the, over there is beautiful, over there. That means what? Over there. This is far from us. Okay, over there. So girl is what? Singular. So simply, which word will be here? Simply we know that because I have discussed already, you know, when the things are far from us, far away, we use that and it is in singular number. Those, when those things will be in plural and farther, okay, then we can use here that. Why that is used? I have discussed already that girl, girl is noun and this is what? Singular noun, that is why we have used that. I hope clear. I like this flower. I like this flower. Why this? Because flower is near at hand. We can touch. We can, if we wish to, we wish to touch. Okay. Another one, stars are in the east. Stars. Stars are from far from us in the sky. Okay, we cannot touch them. So, what we can use here? Those. Why those? Stars. 
this is plural okay so those stars are in the east another one is this uh, blank star is called the north star so here which star this star or that star obviously that star because a star is not near at hand so we can say here that that star is called the north star do you like blank shoes i am wearing okay shoes look at this now this is plural or singular obviously this is plural so we can use here do you like these why this because this noun shoes is plural okay another one is i bought blank apples from blank shop in the high street so you guess what will be here huh? so let us put here i bought these apples these apples why these apples because apples are in your at your hand okay so that is why this is near at hand and we have used here these apples from shop so you have come back to your home and a shop is now far from you okay so you can just indicate with that i bought these apples from that shop in the high street okay students i hope now it is clear what is demonstrative and interrogative adjectives you can simply use these words this and these that and those but remember the noun is either singular or plural if you can identify the noun properly singular or plural then if you have good knowledge about demonstrative words it is very easier to use properly okay i hope this is clear to you all so practice this at home and more and more if you practice then you will be more expert okay so this is all for today see you in the next class bye